Joining us now is Christopher Radko. Yes, the Christopher Radko. That's right. Yay. I'm so festive in my heart. It's just like boiling out all over the place. Thank you for coming to be here today. Uh I know that you were in Houston all week long. Tell us what was going on in Houston. It was the Houston Nutcracker Ballet uh, Market, and they had 200,000 people come. Uh, It's my first time back in the public eye in in almost 20 years. So uh, having all these people come and shop and buy my beautiful new Heartfully Yours ornaments, it was a thrill. It was like a love fest. They do Christmas big in Texas. Oh, yes, I heard that they do. And we do uh, Christmas pretty big here in New York, too. I think they're putting the tree up today, actually. I think it's actually going from from horizontal to, you know, vertical. Nice. Um, so tell us about your journey. I read a little bit about how this joyful company or your original company had started out because you accidentally broke your grandmother's ornaments. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a pretty wild story. Uh, we always had a, a tall Christmas tree, tree, a 12 foot Christmas tree. And I decided one year, I was about 24, that I would buy a new tree stand. And unfortunately, one of the legs of the stand cracked and the entire tree came crashing down. And when my grandmother was still living, came into the living room, she said, what have you done? You've ruined Christmas forever now. And so that guilt, you know, it's like forever. That's an awfully long time. So I, I, I looked for ornaments in the New York area. Nobody was making beautiful glass ornaments. I went to Europe, commissioned some glass blowers to make me old fashioned traditional ornaments. So when I brought them home, all my friends wanted to buy them from me. So I launched a little business back in the 80s, and it grew and grew and grew. It was very successful. People love the glass ornaments I designed. I sold the company in 2005, and um, I had a 10-year non-compete, so I decided to do lots of other things. I was a lavender farmer. I worked for Turner Movie Classics. I had a lot of fun. But now I decided it's time to get back into it. So I have this brand new company. It's called Heartfully Yours, and I'm the artist. Christopher Radko. I love that. The artist, Christopher Radko. Um, So you are here. You have something next to you. Uh, Tell us about that. Well, each of my ornaments takes seven days to make. It takes human breath to make every one of them. They're made in countries like Poland and Germany and Italy and the Czech Republic and even the Western Ukraine. And each one of these is handmade. There's no way to speed it up. You know, you can sure, you know, have things made in China, but it isn't the same quality necessarily and the same intention behind it. So these are made by the great grandchildren of the original glass blowers from over 100 years ago. This guy is called December 24th. He's one of my beautiful traditional Santas. We have an eyelash lady. All she does is paint the eyelashes on all the Santas and angels. And then another lady that puts the blush on Santa's cheeks. So he's fully decorated. He's all sparkly, even behind. And and he's about seven inches tall. This one's made in Poland. All the ornaments come with my tag, Heartfully Yours, so you know that this is a genuine ornament created by me. And then there's a little uh, code that gives you a little video um, so that you know how they're made. We, oh. we show on the website, um, heartfullyyours.com, uh, the whole seven-day process. So it's, it's wow. really exciting, yeah. All done by hand and with a lot of love. And with the tag of authenticity, that's really important, right? right? Because Absolutely. you want to showcase the fact that this was made with a lot of love and a lot of intention Absolutely. and a lot of heart. And a lot of heart. And you know, there is so much heart in these ornaments. These are the heirloom ornaments that will be passed down from generation to generation. I, I can imagine that over a hundred years from now, the great, great grandchildren will, will see these ornaments and say, oh, my great, great grandmother bought these, you know, in a store out in Long Island. Or, or she told me how she saw Christopher Radko, the artist on the Donna Drake show, you know? <laughs> Of course, we'll all be living on Mars back, but, you know, <laughs> but, but, but um, you know, I think, I think for, for so many people, the Christmas tree is like a family diary. It is. And, you know, you point to each ornament, there's a story behind each ornament, um, you know, where you bought it, who gave it to you. Maybe it's when you first got married or when your kids were born. So uh, there's a lot of memories wrapped up on the Christmas tree. And I'm so glad that my Heartfully Yours ornaments are part of those memories today. They certainly are. I mean, this is so exciting. You also have a a particular ornament that you're doing this year too, Christopher, for the Ukraine, correct? Absolutely, yeah, there's actually about 12 different designs of ornaments in the Ukrainian designs, like their Easter eggs, that I'm having made in small cottage factories in Western Ukraine. Unfortunately, two of them got rocketed, so they're out of business right now, which is horrible. But the remaining ones are still in business, so they're busy making ornaments and shipping to them to me right now. What uh, what makes me so happy about being able to work with them is it's my way of helping them put food on their table. Yes. So that makes a difference, and all these ornaments make a difference. You know, they support um, AIDS research and food uh, insecurity and breast cancer research and heart disease research. So there's that they go that extra mile. They're not just beautiful, but they help important charities as well. 
Are you aware that sometimes people put their ornament there? They have like a Christmas room. Have you heard of families like that <laughs> yeah. where they will not put your ornaments like in the past away? And I'm sure these will be added to their collection sure. as well with Heartfully Yours, where yes. they leave their Christmas tree up the whole year yeah. round. And then yeah. they just open the door and then it's Christmas <laughs> you have magic. because they want, they like to look at yeah. them. Right. And also with this Ukrainian line, yeah. um, it's not just for this particular season. That's right. It's for the whole year. Absolutely. You know, I think people love what Christmas represents, the joy, the uh, connection, the, the, the good feelings. And, you know, I try to live those spirit, the spirit of Christmas all year long. And I think when you said if someone has a Christmas room where they leave some favorite ornaments out all year, it's a way of getting that Christmas hit, that reminder that there's more to, wor to the world, to life than just the daily grind. You know, it's about taking a moment. It's about seeing someone's heart and connecting with them and realizing how lucky we are to be alive and, and savoring the moment. That's Christmas to me every day of the year. I agree, and I shared with you my holiday tradition is the cookie exchange that I've had yeah. since the age of 10. It's now my 47th annual Christmas cookie I exchange. Without fail, like one time my house flooded and no matter what, the cookie exchange still goes on, right? Uh -huh. And so uh, this year, I'm so excited because, you know, here we are at the studio. We have a beautiful studio family. And one of the traditions we have is that we have each person go up and they can just handwrite their name on an ornament and they share with us a favorite holiday memory, right? Yeah. So we have about seven trees here, Christopher, uh, around great. the holiday times. We are so about the holidays. Um, you are joyful and pleasant and kind and wonderful. And if you get a little older, maybe your beard will start turning <laughs> white. <laughs> I'm Santa in waiting. You know, I'm the elf right now, but... <laughs> Give me 20 more years, I'll, you know, I'll qualify. I have to eat more cookies too, <laughs> you so know, precious. to get there. How do you come up with the inspiration? Yeah. I know you were saying like they're reson they resonate with people, like yes. memories and things like that, because yeah. all of them do tell a story. They do. Okay. There is an ornament, uh, a story behind each one. And when people buy them, they, you know, remember the shop or the person who received uh, the ornament from. I, um, I get the ideas just by uh, kind of tuning back into my own childhood Christmases. So I remember favorite ornaments I had when I was three or four and I'd point and oh, there's a unicorn or there's a little Santa on a spaceship. Um, and, and I let those ideas flood my mind when I start designing them. Um, it's kind of like composing music. You know, it's really hard to say, where does the tune come from? Okay. It comes from the ethers. And, and you just have to be receptive. It's like, come on in. All the ornaments are like um, little uh, stage uh, performers that want to come on to center stage. And I say, come on in. This is your year. You know, let's get on stage here. So and I then, must ask you, did yeah. you meet Elton John? Uh, yeah. Because in your prior company, you oh, did. Sure. You yeah. had a whole ornament a, a, of musicians. Right. And a lot of celebrities collect my ornaments. Elton John, Barbara Streisand got me making Hanukkah ornaments. Yes. Bruce Springsteen <laughs> bought a, a whole Christmas tree of my ornaments for, for his wife. Um, just, I mean, even in the old days, uh, Princess Diana was a big collector, Catherine Hepburn, Gregory Peck. So it's kind of going from generation to generation. Now the younger generation, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the newest rock stars and the models, uh, they're, they're being finding interested them. in these rights. Right. So it and, feels and, good. And people are probably so excited to know that you are back making ornaments, like yeah. you. Me, right? myself, yeah. yeah. Uh, under the brand name Heartfully Yours, I'm, of course, the artist now. Christopher Radko. Yes. And yeah, people are thrilled to know that these ornaments are actually designed by me and they're made in Europe. They're not yes. made in China or who knows where. And each of them still takes a human breath to breathe life to them. I, I'm passionate about them. There's truly a, a bit of my heart in every single ornament I make because I can't be in everyone's home at Christmas time, but my ornaments are an emissary of that warmth and sparkle and joy you know, that memory making that they represent. So I know there's a little bit of my heart on people's trees everywhere at Christmas time. It's true. I mean, you are a living legacy. Yay. No, you really are. And congratulations to you, Thank you, you know, for taking something that was a little bit sad yeah. and then turning it and turning the whole world around with joy. Yeah. You know, and what has the response of your family been since now that you're doing this heartfully? <laughs> well, my now? grandmother definitely forgave me okay. you know, for causing the tree <laughs> to fall over. But, you know, my, my, my parents were thrilled to know that even though I didn't become a doctor, right. uh, that I made good by bringing joy uh, to people uh, world over through the ornaments. And I started a long time ago. I started 1986. So it's been quite a while. Um, but this is great. I mean, after, you know, 10 or 15 years off, I'm so happy to be back doing this. This is where I belong. This is my passion. I love making a difference through the beauty of blown glass Christmas ornaments. 
I'm makes grateful a that you came here today. I was so excited when I saw your name pop up on my computer and I was like, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So yeah. thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. I truly am grateful that you're here sharing the joy with our audience. Um, we're now seen in 25 countries. I know your ornaments are available all over the world. That's so right. together, let's celebrate the holidays, right? Yeah. Thank uh, you, Christopher. You bet. Thank I'm you delighted so to be here. And people can see my entire collection on my website, heartfullyyours.com, okay. or they can go to my Instagram, which is heartfullyyours underscore Christmas. Under underscore. Underscore, underscore Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Um, I am Donna Drake. We've been visiting with the artist, Christopher Radko. How cool is that? Thank you for all your emails and happy holidays to you and your family.